Damn, this is cold. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. What's up, Waterboy Gang, and welcome back to the Waterboy Vlog. I got my snow cap on you today because, uh, as you can see outside here, we're getting our first glimpse of the snowfall. That's exciting. Anyway, today is Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Me and Braden are just hanging out, watching a little Moana. Aren't we, buddy? Yeah, totally cool. Big day today, so I wanted to vlog the whole day. So if you guys remember a while back, um, I actually did a short film. I did that short film, and it has been entered into the St. Cloud Film Festival. And tonight, there is actually a free showing of um, some of the short films through like St. Cloud State, which is the college in uh, St. Cloud there. So we got it on our calendar here. Tuesday, we got the movie showing 9 p.m. at the Black Box Theater. I'm gonna be going and checking it out because I saw the rough cut of it, but I don't think I actually saw the final version. And I'm actually gonna be going with Sean and Jeremy and they haven't even seen the rough cut. So it'll be kind of fun. A uh, little embarrassing, but uh, hey, what do you do? You got dad's Rolex. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. So big day tonight. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> just gonna kind of film throughout the day, leading up to the big event. All right, so now, just got out of the shower, and it's, <clears throat> it's probably the most important part of the day. Finding an outfit to wear for this thing tonight. Braden, that is lovely music. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know what to wear. Like, uh, it's my first big movie premiere. I don't know, are they gonna have the red carpet out? Oh, good if there's like paparazzi and stuff. I don't wanna look too dressy, you know? And I don't have very many clothes. Kelly cut me off. She cut me off from buying clothes because she said I have way too many, which she's not wrong. I have to go through all these, but you know, I don't have anything to wear to the big events. First, first let's start off with uh, pants. We don't wanna just wear jeans. Nah. Too edgy. Really cool color, but they like these pants. Do this at the bottom, and they're, so they're like capris. They're like guys capris. Too edgy again. Too dressy. Too dressy. Jorts? Mm -hmm. No, I can't wear jorts. Too dad-like. Got it. Ah, boom. I think these are our winners. All of pants. Braden, all of pants. Yay or nay? Okay, thanks buddy, I, I got it. Think that means yes? Okay, so we got the yellow pants. Next for a shirt, I think, I'm think i thinking about just this plain, <laughs> plain shirt here. Keep her simple. And then with it, we'll throw on, what's up dude? What's up? And then with that, we're gonna throw on this denim uh, gray sweatshirt combo thing. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's uh, let's check her out. All right, yeah, this is this is looking good. I think we got. I gotta turn this off. This is we're looking good. So we got the shirt, we got the coat, all pants, and the fancy socks to cover up my ugly toes. Although, so <clears throat> as you see right now, holy light, Japer's light. Look, I'm an angel. <laughs> Uh, hair length right now is super awkward. I'm in like the awkward stage where I'm like, I don't know if I want to have it buzzed or if I want to grow it long. Right now I'm thinking I want to grow it back long, even though Kelly really likes it buzzed. But it's in a super awkward length right now. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta put something on top of my head. <clears throat> if you guys could do me a favor, in the comment section below let me know, hair short or long? Uh, if you've been following the vlog, you know what it looks like long. If you haven't, Go back and watch the episode, man, they're good ones. Anyways, we gotta find something to cover up this ugly mug. Okay, hat selection. I got lots of hats. We could go with... I'm gonna have to say no on that. Nope. Looks better, but uh, still no. Next option is the Newsboy cap. That one actually looks pretty good. Newsboy cap might be a winner. Final option is the uh, classic trucker, trucker hat. Just like that. <laughs> you haven't seen this hat yet. Minnesota Moon. I don't know if you guys. This is when Randy Moss mooned the Green Bay Packers. I got a hat of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. This one or this one. Ooh. We could do both. 
Yep, we're doing both. Keeping it. I'm looking good. I'm looking fresh. I'm ready for my photo sesh. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I just got this new hat the other day. We go perfect with this outfit. Check it. They call this the uh, oversized fedora. How do I look? Wait, does this one work? Should we go with this one? And <laughs> fashion. Fashion. After many discussions with my uh, personal fashion consultant. Are you my personal fashion consultant? No, it's his mom. Uh, wife gave me a final uh, opinion and she's never seen me wrong before, so... Newsboy cap it is. And then for shoes, I'm gonna be rocking these Gary V sneakers. Okay, Swiss, I believe. And we're with my boy Jeremy here, and we are getting ready to head over to the uh, the movie premiere. Uh, you can walk with me on the red carpet if you want. You think so? You're welcome to. If I have to be your chef the other for the night, I think I can do it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You can handle this? We are gonna be uh, heading out here pretty soon. We're meeting Sean there. And I don't want to bring this camera in there, so which means I'm going to have to switch over to uh, phone vlogging, which is one of my biggest pet peeves, but I uh, got to do it. So over the phone vlog. I'm going to have to walk about a mile and a half here to get to the theater because it uh, looks like we got ourselves a full house. All came to see your boy, you know, right, Jerm? That's right. That's right. And also we got a lovely snowfall coming down. Not excited about that. Sean, what did you think of the uh, film there? I thought it was just goddamn delightful. Oh, really? What was your favorite part? The Tucson sex scene. I already told you that. Mm. Okay, but you didn't tell you me on camera. Get it's those in Hollywood. I know, you're welcome. Hey, what's up, gang? I just got home from the uh, film festival. It was really cool to see uh, this film that I worked on last winter already. Um, into this festival. It was really kind of cool to see people watch it, watch their reactions. I think I watched people, I watched the people watching the movie more than I watched the actual movie because I've seen the movie like multiple times. But uh, it was just kind of cool to see people's reactions to it. And then like the clapping at the end, just like, it makes you feel good that hopefully people liked it, thought it was, you know, interesting and whatnot. Also got to meet up with some of the crew um, that helped uh, make that movie they were there as well um, So it's kind of cool to see them again and just like seeing it actually on a screen and watching people actually watch it Kind of gave me like that motivate like I feel like I've got some more motivation and inspiration back Just from like attending that because lately. I, I don't know why but like um, Creativity wise I have felt like just extremely unmotivated um, photography, videography, YouTube, and with the acting stuff. I just felt like I'm in like a huge slump. I just don't have that motivation and drive that um, I typically do have. Like I, I usually like, I want to try and create something every day because it's fun for me. Uh, and lately I just haven't had that. It's part of why like my YouTube channel has been down a lot. And uh, I haven't been going on as many auditions as I was back then, like back when I first started this uh Endeavor. I also think part of the audition thing was that this film that we did that just premiered, uh, or premiered, this film that we did that just showed at the St. Cloud Film Festival, this was, that was my very first audition. Like, I have never auditioned for a film before. That was the first one, and I ended up getting the lead role in it. Um, and then when I went on other auditions, and uh, I would, I would get like a callback or, um, I, but then I ultimately wouldn't end up getting these parts. And I think because I got the first role I auditioned for, and then I started getting these no's from other films and from um, like theater stuff, uh, it kind of tore my self-confidence down a little bit, which is not great to begin with. So I think that was kind of the start of the crumble of all the uh, lack of creativity, motivation that um, I've been feeling. But I was actually reading a book today and it said something that was really, really kind of hit me. And I feel like the timing was really well because I, I literally, I read it and then two hours later, I went and watched uh, this film and people watched the film and whatnot. So it kind of all drew together, but the book said, every no that I get is going to be just a step closer to getting that yes. 
and that for like every 50 no's, you should only get one yes. So I think the big thing for me is I just got to, and maybe a lot of you guys too, like just flipping that mindset into you're not going to get a yes every time. And the no's aren't bad things. Like I, I'm, I'm getting to go and audition. I'm getting to practice the skill. And each no is just getting me closer to finally like getting that yes and then making another film and hopefully watching it with a, with a uh, group of people like that once again. So that's my new mindset. Um, I encourage you guys to get that same mindset. Like, no is not always a bad thing. If you guys are interested in watching the entire film, it's about 10 minutes and 13 seconds, so it's not very long. It's a nice short film. Um, the link for the full film is going to be down in the description below. Otherwise, guys, it is currently 2.30 in the morning, and I'm exhausted. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go to bed because Brayden's going to be up in about uh, four hours, so that'll be fun. I also just want to give a quick shout out to Jeremy and Sean. Thank you guys for coming. I greatly appreciate it. Like the support from um, just like friends in general is always helpful. So you guys coming and watching and with the great, like the compliments and like all that stuff, it, it really, it truly does mean a lot. And it definitely helps. So greatly appreciate it to you guys. And otherwise, Waterboy gang, keep on the lookout for more content on this channel. As I mentioned in the Cayman Islands video, looking to restart it a little bit. Super excited. My creativity, I f like juices, I feel like are coming back. So I'm really excited about that. I'm also like reading a bunch of books about creativity. So it's all, it's all good. It's all good. If you're not a part of the Waterboard gang, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. We'd love to have you become, be part. <laughs> it's late. I can't talk. We'd love to have you become part of the family. Nailed it. And guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. It, uh, it really does mean a lot when I go away and see that you guys like the video and that you're liking the content that I'm putting out for you guys. So make sure you hit that like button down below and remember gang, stay true, be you. I'll catch you later. So tell me, what's your story?